hi dear friends and viewers in this video we are going to discuss another important short answer question in the chapter of oscillations that is obtain expression for frequency and time period expressions for a loaded spring so it's very important for ipe examinations and also important for competitive exams <coughs> dear students the question should be like this obtain an expression for the frequency of oscillation of a spring of force constant k to which a mass m is attached so this is nothing but a loaded spring children so this is a one spring clear that should be suspended from a rigid support for that some mass is attached now it is called a loaded spring what it is loaded spring all of you know the oscillations made by the loaded spring is simple harmonic oscillations when it is at rest position you have to consider this is the mean position what it is mean position so once you can apply the force by pulling it in downward and we are leaving that then it will execute the simple harmonic oscillations so simply to understand the oscillations made by that one should be i am showing like this when it is in downward obviously that should be like that and when it is goes up that should be seems like this clear got my point children when the mass is attached to the lower end of the spring and we are hold that one we are pulling downward and leaving it then it will execute the symbol harmonic oscillations at every time that should be crosses the mean position it is goes down again up down up down up like that so those are the symbol harmonic oscillations so here i am going to draw displacement look here children so this is now displacement and it is also displacement of the object so here the expansion elongation takes place here contraction takes place children so while a loaded spring is exudes the simple harmonic oscillations now we have to derive the expression for time period and frequency of the that particular loaded spring so in this case you have to observe why the block is going down because we pull it by pull it we are taking the body downwards and we are leaving that one then obviously that will exudes the symbol harmonic oscillations we are hold this one and simply pulling downward and once you can leave it it will goes up and down up and down like that in this case children due to the applied force that should be comes down once you can even though you are leaving that that should be goes to the up that is because of restoring force the energy what it is stored inside a spring internally that should be called restoring force due to the applied force it is going down once you can leave the body that should be goes up so that means why it is going up means because of restoring force so children in this case restoring force restoring force is directly proportional to the displacement of the body displacement of the body but both are in opposite direction here negative symbol indicates the both are in negative position clear children so here we are showing that f is proportional to restoring force can be taken as f and d is proportional to minus y here what is y <coughs> why is the displacement children <coughs> then to equate them we are using the one constant that is the spring constant f is equals to minus k y this is the equation number 1 children here what is k k is the spring constant spring constant or it is also called as proportional constant 
proportional constant then according to children according to the newton second law according to newton second law according to the newtons second law net force is given by net force is given by all this f is equals to m a this is the equation number two children now once you can check these two both are represents the force net force is nothing but here restoring force so from one and two what you have to write children so simply m a is equals to minus k y m a is equals to minus k y and now here children in this case you have to observe a is equals to minus k by m into y a is equals to minus k by m into y this is the equation number three children here what is k k is the spring constant what is m mass of the body what it is given to the lower end of the spring here mass is constant k also constant then obviously what we write a is proportional to minus y because these two are constant a is proportional to minus y what is a acceleration this acceleration is directly proportional to the displacement but it is in opposite direction this is the condition of simple harmonic motion this is the condition of simple harmonic motion so already we have one condition for simple harmonic motion that is what it is children everybody knows the condition for condition for s h m what it is a is equals to minus omega square y a is equals to minus omega square y this is the condition for hm a is equals to minus omega square y now this is the equation number what are the children 4 so once you can observe it 3 and 4 3 and 4 what we get from equation number 3 and 4 we can write what you can write here what it is a is equals to minus k by m into y there a is equals to minus omega square into y so by comparing those two what do you write children simply instead of omega square what do you write k by m omega square equals what k by m and omega is equals to square root of k by m this is the formula for omega so clear <coughs> and after that we know that time period of time period of simple harmonic oscillator time period of simple harmonic oscillator that's we given by the formula t is equals to 2 pi by omega t is equals to 2 pi by omega children already what we got omega value t is equals to 2 pi by omega means what here and of k by m then what you get t is equals to 2 pi into root m by k root m by k this is the expression for what time period of the loaded spring time period of the loaded spring what we know what is mean by time period time taken to complete one oscillation is called time period so here now what you have to find out actually we want to find out the expression for frequency expression for frequency that's why here we know that the relation between the relation between time period and frequency and frequency is given by what nu is equals to 1 by t nu is equals to 1 by t what is nu nu is the frequency what is t time period in this case what you are going to find frequency of the loaded spring that's why here simply what is new here frequency of loaded spring loaded spring that is equals what at children nu is equals to 1 by t means what 2 pi into and of m by k so from that what we get children here 
nu is equals to 1 by 2 pi into under root of k by m. So, this is the expression for frequency of a loaded spring, frequency of a loaded spring and this is what children frequency of time period of the loaded spring. So, this is the more than enough for the four mass question what we are getting in intermediate for year chapter. Okay children, I hope you understand. If you can understand this one, like the video, share the video and comment the video. Dear students, in our channel, we are uploading the all the intermediate first year topics and secondary topics at the same time. We are going to upload the M set and neat videos also. That's why you can subscribe my channel to get the all the notifications. I hope that my channel will help to you. Okay. Thank you for watching.